If stoner movies didn't mean movies about smoking weed, but instead movies that are fucking amazing to watch while you're high, what are your favorites? The Muppets movie original. My girlfriend at the time and I randomly put it on while smoking and it was fucking fantastic. Everything from the songs to the crazy ass plot and all the old stars, plus that particular kind of pun based slash slapstick comedy that the Muppets do is just fantastic while stoned. I can't find the quote but I love the part where Dr. Teeth and Electric Mayhem show up and save Kermit, and when he asks how did you ever find us. Dr. Teeth is like because, we read the script you gave us and knew you would be here. Zardoz went in with zero expectation and was absolutely blown away with the world and plot. Now it's one of my favorites ever. Don't lie you just want to see Sean Connery in a cod piece. The Fifth Element. Watched it high last night. Can confirm, good while high. Good while sober too, winking face. Monty Python and the Holy Grail is my go-to movie. 2001 Space Odyssey The colored lights were trippy. I had to scroll way too far to find this response. The Matrix. I used to watch all the time as a kid, but just recently I watched it stoned and it just took on a whole new level. Very fun to watch. Waking life anything from Studio Ghibli The Life Aquatic. Do the interns get glocks? Tangled. Is shockingly good while stoned. The artists originally wanted to make the whole film look like watercolors and wound up dialing it way back in the final product. I've watched it a couple of times and was just blown away by the detail and the art. It's also Disney so it doesn't fuck with my anxiety too much. Bonus, it's even better on mushrooms. My friend and I sat in my cave of a living room on shrooms and watched a bunch of Disney slash animated movies for hours. It was fantastic, no one was allowed in our cave, and we had the best time. We watched My Neighbor Totoro, Ponyo, Coco, definitely the best visuals, Alice in Wonderland, Tangled, and Wally. -E. I feel like I'm missing one or two, but it was a great movie lineup. Holy shit Wally -E would Loki put me in a bad trip LMFAO. Speed Racer makes shiny boom boom. Are we talking about the Wachowski movie? Cause I fucking love that movie. Not quite a movie but on Netflix, Love, Death and Robots is pretty fucking awesome. One of the best things I've seen and I've practically made smoking and watching sci-fi into a hobby at this point. Airplane and yes, I am. But don't call me Shirley. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. Okay boys, let's get some pictures. Anything David Attenborough. I get stoned to escape existential dread, I don't need to be reminded of all the shit we're destroying. Uck. Turn off the audio and put on music, now it's an adventure. I recommend Bloom by Beach House Edit, I'm loving all the music Rex y'all are sending my way, looks like the rest of my night is planned. Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse was a fantastic movie to watch high. So was A Scanner Darkly. If you like to scan a darkly, watch Waking Life it will blow your mind. I disagree. Waking Life uses a similar rotoscoping animation style, but it also has no fucking plot or purpose. It's pseudo-intellectual slash r slash im 14 anthesis deep philosophy vomit set to an Argentine tango. They even dedicate an entire segment to an Alex Jones rant. Koyana's Katsi edit, I suggest taking mushrooms and holding onto your hat. On this note, Baraka and Samsara edit, A Word, The Cornetto Trilogy. I've seen the first two so many times I can't watch them anymore. World's End wasn't amazing, I watched in cinema too and was a little disappointing. It's a big tonal shift from the first two but it's structured the same way. Lots of hidden things and messages that are funny or on repeat watches. But it's also a very sad movie about alcoholism and how destructive it is. That's a tough swallow when Sean and Hot Fuzz are just utterly ridiculous in their premise. World's End applies that silliness to a much more sobering, pun intended, tenet and doesn't quite stick the landing. Unless you happen to have experience with addiction, then, in my opinion, it's a flawed masterpiece and near-god tier level of acting from Simon Pegg. Fantasia, 
I love both of the Fantasia movies, it is now my goal to watch them hi they have got to be absolutely insane. I watched the original on a mushroom trip. It was so damn intense. The colors on the screen radiated out to the whole room. Kung Fu Hustle and Shaolin Soccer. Kung Fu Hustle has the dopest music. The scene where the landlords get ready to fight that prisoner guy in the casino is probably my favorite. Ten Tent Sost. Never watched Kung Fu Hustle and I can't even picture the context in Visha Landlord gets ready to fight a prisoner guy in a casino. Gonna watch it next week, Super Troopers. Meow that's a movie you like. I'm going to pistol whip the next person that says shenanigans. I found that Pulp Fiction, either of the Kill Bill movies and the Grand Budapest Hotel are all terrific to watch when I'm high. Wes Anderson movies in general are excellent when stoned, their unusual beauty is weird and fantastic. It's his color scheme, the wide angle lenses, side trucking and whip pans that get me. Even when I'm sober. Big Trouble in Little China. Romance, Action, M. Efton Kurt Russell. No bad part in that movie. Oh, my god, no. Please. What is that? Don't tell me. Gimme all you got cause I can take it. Fucking Spaceballs man. I'm surrounded by assholes. Blade Runner 2049. And recommend having a decent sound system and turning that bitch to 11. I smoked before going to see in theaters. Passed out halfway through lol. Big Fish. Very colorful movie and the story is better when you're stoned. Oh damn, it's a beautiful movie but how do you get through it without sobbing? There are only two scenes that consistently make me cry no matter how many times I've seen them. One is from this movie and the other is from my girl lol. Grandma's boy. Adios turd nuggets. I'm too high to drive to the devil's house. Samsara. It has no dialogue but it's filled with beautiful and sometimes disturbing images. I watched that during a LSD trip and the clayface scene was very unexpected. All of the Wallace and Gromit films, the visual comedy is even better. We forget our crackers. Cheers Gromet. Anything from Studio Ghibli. Yeah, I'm not watching Grave of the Fireflies while high, sorry. I can't watch it while sober. I didn't even get past the train station scene with the dying people. The Big Lebowski. Yeah, well, that's just, like, your opinion, man. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. Kung Pao, Enter the Fist and Hot Rod are two classics. I am a great magician. Your clothes are red. I've seen that movie so many time but Jaime finally realized the guy's clothing was actually changing colors. Ha ha. When I am high, colors get loud. Till the actual meaning of stoner movie. 24 years on this planet and I always thought it meant a movie that was ideally watched while stoned. To be fair, anyone who loves movies about stoners is probably a stoner himself. Does anybody actually like movies about stoners? I'm a stoner and I don't care for them. They're never accurate, plus, I don't like being reminded of how normal, productive people view losers like myself.